this video we're going to take a look at a, a caged ladder component that I've built uh, to give the basic framework for a, a caged ladder in Australasian region. If I double click on the component and have a look at the options within the component, it's quite simple. There's not a lot of options in there. It, uh, it gives you the basic cage, uh, allows you to pick the, uh, the ground level up to the platform level, nominate the, uh, the height of the, the top hoop above the platform level, uh, and also the, um, the maximum distance between the, the bottom hoop and the ground level and then a few other little basics such as uh, the base, uh, base bracket connection detail um, and also some numbering series options. So I'm just going to apply the default settings and click OK on that. To put the ladder in it's picking a point uh, in this case here I'm just going to pick a point on the ground then I'm going to go up to the first floor level and then click that point there and it puts the ladder in. You can control the rotation of the ladder. If I go into position, it um, always seems to randomly pick a, a rotation value. If I just clear that and set that back to zero, you can see that will orientate that uh, um, relative to the world of the uh, of the model. Uh, if we're going to change that from below, I'll change that to top to have it facing the structure. I'll press modify. rotates it around so now the ladder is sitting where it is in the plane there. Uh, we can pick the ladder up and move it away whatever we need to do there. Um, but you can see it automatically uh, positions the, the rungs uh, start I guess at the base plate uh, area here. I'll just move that over to the side. And at the moment um, I've got the, the choice of showing a base bracket. I can change the bottom to be a, a welded foot. Uh, it does that sort of arrangement there or a simple bracket. Uh, whatever you want with that. Now to adjust it, if we wanted to currently, I've got the insertion points going to the top of steel there. Uh, if I was to use, uh, just say, the move command and say pull the ladder down, I'm just going to say an arbitrary value of, um, say, a meter. component readjusts all the, the rung spacings to suit and make sure that it keeps the that rung there above the, um, the insertion point and the, uh, the cage. If I spin the model around in this 3D view. And then you've got the adjustments. If I double click on that I can make that uh, so 1500 whatever you, you want to set to, to meet this, the, the standard codes adjust the cage bottom height obviously these are outside the parameters of what uh, what you need to do but um, as you can see when you uh, decrease the value enough then it's going to throw an extra hoop in as well to suit the maximum of 2000 spacings so that's pretty much it, it again it just gives you the basic framework for a ladder uh, it's not going to cover every different scenario um, but from here you can then just right click uh, explode the component and then um, just work with it from there and you've got your hoops, you can copy the hoops up, put as many extra hoops in that you want, but again the component will automatically try to put it in the right number of hoops um, to suit the situation you've got. You know, I give the component a try, if you're looking at uh, purchasing the component, uh, please visit my website at www.techconservices.com.au